basically the major difference that i found in the french in france and the french in ivory coast is french people do not have a lot of expressions while speaking french but in ivory coast we have all kind of expressions if you are sad there is an expression if you are happy there is an expression if you are surprised there is an expression so there are different kind of expressions uh, that they add when they are speaking so that is the major difference i think uh, apart from that it, it is almost the same so let's start with today's video and let me share what i have learned hey guys what's up i'm back with another video it's been a while how are you guys doing so in today's video i wanted to or some of the uh, basic words which ivorian use here so that it will be useful for you when you are here to understand what they're saying or probably to cope up with them so, so generally when you travel to a country especially to a country where the language is different it's difficult for you to understand so i think basically the first thing you should do is at least understand the small small words for daily use generally which we use uh, for everyday life so this is what i'm going to share though i have now started uh, speaking french and understanding french properly but uh, just wanted to tell you uh, the french in ivory coast is a little bit different from that in france the way they speak and the way here ivorian speak is a little bit different and they add a little bit of nuchi so uh, sometimes here in ivory coast you will uh, listen to people speaking in a different kind of french is a language which is nothing but a mix of french and other local languages of cote d'ivoire so there are certain words that you will frequently listen to and i think it is very important for you to understand or tomorrow if you have ivorian friends it will be very easier for you to mingle up with them cope up with them or understand what they're trying First to word say. is my favorite word and my small baby she loves to say this to everyone who is coming home she has picked up i don't know how she is at home also we don't generally speak a lot of nuji but i think she has picked up from someone uh, so the first one is atu atu is nothing but hugs so if whenever she sees someone coming home she goes and she hugs them and say atu so it's a very cute word atu is a very cute word uh, it means nothing but hugs the second word that i have learned or i have frequently listened to is undikwa undikwa is nothing but what's up like in english we say what's up what you are doing so in general when whenever someone calls someone they generally ask undikwa so in french the meaning is a little bit different if you are, if you speak in french undikwa is something like what do you say but undikwa in i will you know, someone uh, telling you undikwa is nothing but what's up so you can say je suis calé je suis calé is nothing but i'm cool like i'm cool i'm chilling i'm fine so it's just their own language or their own nuchi language that they use uh, for these kind of phrases so the next word that i've generally listened to is yako yako is something like is a kind of empathy uh, that you show to people if someone is sick if someone got someone hurt, lost someone so for everything they say yako yako so i have listened to this word a lot of times and i did not understand for the very first time when i've listened to but later on when i related to it i understood that they say this word to just um, show that they're sad for you or they they have an empathy right so yako is a word that you will generally uh, listen to many people telling for everything here in ivory coast So the next word I listen to with many of my Ivorian friends is Sape. A very famous song called Sape. Sape kam chambe, Sape kam chambe, Sape kam chambe. Very famous song. You will listen to this song in uh, nightclubs or just in uh, taxis or anywhere. So, but you are very well dressed. Like if you are in a group of friends and you are someone who is very well dressed, extremely well dressed. So. 
you, you will see people telling you that you twist up pace so so i have listened generally to this word whenever my baby uh, takes bath and she gets ready in her new clothes so every time my maid used to say that twist up pace twist up pace be up pace so that is nothing but uh, you are very well dressed so this is another word so the next word you, you will generally listen to is safe de jour safe de jour is nothing but it's been a while it's been some time so generally if you see someone after a while or if you give a call to someone and it's been a while they generally say on the qua safe de jour so that means what's up it's been a while right so it's these small phrases that generally they use i think uh, not to prolong they just did a shortcut uh but it's these short phrases that they generally use when they call each other so i used to listen to a lot of these phrases generally when i see people calling each other so when i paid attention i listened to a little bit of different friends and i wonder what are they talking uh, to probably it is a different language but then i found out that it is nothing but mix of french and their own local languages that they use here so, this so is how i picked up these small words and i think it will be useful useful for you as well if you understand or if you really start picking up these small there are other words as well that you will keep on listening but these are some of the general words that you will listen to a lot uh between people so i think it's very important to uh understand these small words because it will be easier for you to communicate with someone who is a local and it will be very easy for you to be in a group and talk like them right so it's important and yes i think this is what and i want to share. i know that many of you were complaining that i'm not uploading a lot of videos and you miss my videos so promise that from now onwards i will be uploading a lot of videos i think october november and december is the time that i will be uploading a lot and lot of videos i really want to cross 5000 subscribers this year this is what i promised to myself and i'm not very far i think 1500 more subscribers and we will be crossing 5000 cross fingers i will be able to do it so if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe and if you like this video please do share uh, comment like and uh, i will see you guys very soon with my next video till then take care bye bye